All right, so let's go over solving for x or solving for each equation. The first one's uh, pretty simple. I got two constants, five minus three, simplifies the two, and that's what x equals. Pretty simple. What this is saying is this expression is equal to an unknown value, and that an unknown value is two, and only two, okay? Uh, the next one, I'm gonna change colors real quick. Go with blue. The next equation, we had two expressions where eight is equal to two times some unknown value, okay? So what does that unknown value x equal? Well, I'm gonna rewrite it. I'm gonna undo multiplication between two times x, and I divide both sides by two. That's all I undo multiplication. I'm left with eight divided by four is, eight divided by two is four, sorry. Let me roll this up here. Equals two divided by two is one. Remember, we reduce it to one, our giant one. Not cancel, reduce. And we're left with x. So for these two expressions, when are they equal? When two is multiplied by four and only four, because then it's equal to eight, okay? Let's look at the last one. We're gonna use a little purple here. As you can tell, I've made my my living room, just like my, my whiteboard, all my markers are all over the place. We have this equation. We're comparing two expressions again. 16 times x minus 16 is equal to zero. So when is this expression equal to that expression? Well, let's find out. First, we're going to have to do is isolate x. That's why we're solving for x, right? So we're going to go through the process of undoing, just like we did before here. And in some cases, it was straightforward. I'm going to undo, like peeling an onion, I start with eliminating the constant that's going around the term with the variable x. Plus 16 of both sides. I'm left with 16x equals 16. Divide both sides by 16. x equals 1, right? This simplifies to a giant 1, and this is also a 1. So when are these two expressions equal? Only when x is 1. And all this work, we have a little name for it. And what do we call that? Well, the strategies we used of undoing, right? Undoing, and in some cases, PEMDAS, we're gonna call it algebraically solving. Let me roll this up. Algebraically solving or solving algebraically, however you want to pronounce it. And all we're saying is a fancy way of saying, look, I'm going to undo to isolate X, or I can just use PEMDAS where I just simplify by doing the actions. Okay. And we call it algebraic solving. In the next video, we'll talk about visually displaying our answers and how they connect with these. We know for a fact that they have to come out the same, right? But how do I display it visually? Okay. Till next time. See ya.